Go. Baby mamas, this your song Been pregnant for way too long. too long Hey, what is up you guys And welcome back to my channel So for today's video I'm supposed to be giving you guys this update On my pregnancy and what's been going on So this is supposed to be Like a 39, 40 week Update And you know at 40 weeks, you're full term um, You're 9 months And you are supposed to be expecting on giving birth. Now, I'm a little late with giving you guys this update video because I'm past my 40 week mark. I'm 40 weeks and three days, two days, two days. Uh, I was supposed to give birth two days ago on the sixth, but it's currently as of this video, the eighth. And I'm just like, just tired. But I just been so busy trying to prepare for the baby to come and just getting everything done. Like, you guys see that I did my hair because I didn't wanna have to worry about doing my hair. After um, after giving birth, I got my nails done, I got my feet done, and just making sure that I have all of baby stuff organized, cleaned, sanitized, and just figuring out who's gonna be in the room at the time of birth that's how y'all so i'm currently in the car because i just pulled up to the lake because i'm about to take a walk a very very long walk around this lake now this lake is about like three and a half miles long and so the doctor said that i need to i need to walk i need to exercise i need to have sex but that's one thing I can't do because Elliot is not here. Y'all, I got something lying now. But anyways, y'all, so hopefully this will help with, you know, progressing um, labor and getting me to have this baby because I am late. And you know, due dates are just an estimate at the end of the day. It's just an estimate of when the baby will come. Um, but I really feel like our, my daughter could have came on time or even sooner if I was having sex. That's just my opinion because I just feel like that could have helped a lot. So I already told him I was going to be blaming him for our baby not being here and me not being due on time. So yes, it's your fault. I'm really sad about that because I was like really expecting, you know, when you have a date in mind, you like you're super excited about something because, you know, that date, you've been waiting all this time. I've been waiting all nine months for this date to arrive. And it's just like, dang, she's still not here. Dang, she's not ready to come yet. And so I know I'm just trying to put in my mind like, OK, she's just going to come when she's ready. You know, she's just not ready right now. And so my doctor told me to do all these things, like just go exercise, have sex, but we all know that's out of the equation. Um, she's like, eat some dates. Um, she said that there's no scientific proof by eating dates that it will work, but she have heard other women say that by eating dates that it has helped them to put them into labor or start the process of labor and things like that. And so I'm like, okay, so I went and bought me some dates today. I'm going on a walk today. And then she said to also eat like the middle, if you buy a pineapple and you know, the middle part of the pineapple, the hard part of the pineapple, she's like, eat that part. Like you can just like suck on it and spit it out. So guess what your girl did? I went to the store and I bought me a pineapple and I did just that. And I did that on the day of my due date. So that was two days ago when I did that. And then I'm like, okay, let me continue to just like do some squats and just walk around. So I did that. So the past couple of days, that's what I've been focusing on. That's what I've been doing. And then today I'm like, okay, let me just go for a long walk around the lake. On Tuesday, I went for a walk. I went to the gym. I went for a walk around the gym. I did like a mile though. And so today, which is Friday, I am going to be walking around this lake. I'm going to be doing three and a half miles. And I got me some dates, y'all, today from the store. And dates is not good. 
at all and so what i did was i made me a smoothie and i added some dates to my smoothie this is how it looks you guys Huh. and so it's it's not the best but i'm trying to do whatever i can to make this baby come because it's time and i'm ready to have my body back i'm just ready to just meet my baby girl and i'm just so sick of being pregnant okay just period just sick of being pregnant anyways you guys i'm sitting in the car still because i'm currently waiting on my sister to get here I didn't want to walk around the lake by myself, so I asked her to come, and Lord knows she always late. Always. Doesn't matter what it is. Even if it's her own party, she's going to be late. Okay? But, uh, yeah, she's supposed to be here a while ago, but she got two kids she bringing, so I'm going to be patient. And then I also see that there is a food truck back there, so while I wait, I might go ahead and see what they got back there. I might as well. Before I go ahead and check out that food truck though, I am almost done with this smoothie. And so it's getting kind of like warm and I don't like drinking smoothies when it's warm. And I thought I put enough ice in here, but I'm gonna try to finish this off and then I'm gonna go see what they got over there. Because, yeah. All right, you guys, I finished pretty much couldn't there are some dates that at the bottom that didn't blend all the way and the smoothie is just too warm for me to continue drinking so i'm gonna go check out this food truck and see what they got wait wait the food truck is gone You guys, when I pulled up, the food truck was right here. I guess I was sitting in the car for too long. Now it's gone. Oh, well. I decided to just walk out here to this beach area, you guys, because I got tired of sitting in my car. This is finally here after two hours. Wait, hold on. Y'all see him right there? Can you point? But yeah, y'all see him finally here like two freaking hours 